I, too, want to thank ESPN and Under Armour. You know, one of the reasons, there are lots of reasons that the university stakeholders made the determination that elevating to Division I was in the best long-term interest of the institution. But one of the reasons you do it is to broaden the visibility of the institution. And one of the best ways to do that is to affiliate with highly respected, well-known, big-time organizations. And partnering with Under Armour, uh, partnering with ESPN, playing games against Michigan, Cincinnati, Northwestern, uh, Florida, Nebraska, Oklahoma, that was certainly a strategy that we had in place. We wanted to make sure that right out of the gate, people understood that we were a different institution now. A terrific staff, hardworking, at it every day, here early, staying late, uh, doing everything that we hoped would happen with this basketball program. Look, I, I'm an old coach myself, and, and I always live by this motto. If hard work has anything to do with success, then we're in good hands at this institution. We are in very good hands. So uh, without further ado, folks, here is our first Division I basketball coach, Pat Duquette. Um, I could still hear the joy uh, in her voice when I told her um, that I had achieved uh, my biggest goal to date and uh, something I always wanted to do and worked really hard towards uh, to be a Division I men's basketball coach. I'm a Riverhawk now. I'm proud to be a Riverhawk. Uh, I've had many great experiences at uh, Boston College uh, and at Northeastern, uh, but this place felt home right from the start. I think it's huge. I mean, I grew up in the area. Uh, I think it's an opportunity for people who are in, you know, the circle of college basketball or basketball in general. Look, Celtics aren't going to be that great this year. Why not come out and watch D1 basketball, come out and watch the Riverhawks and be a part of something on the ground floor? I mean, I think this is a an awesome opportunity to hop on board, something that will come up in, you know, two, three, four, five years and watch this program grow. I think Pat Duquette's going to be an amazing addition to this university and to this community, and I think he's the right man for this job. And uh, Look, in a very short period of time, he's already sold this program to recruits around the country to come here to be a part of Lowell and bringing them in to play basketball here. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun to watch over the next couple of years. I think, you know, it, it's a great thing for to be an alum of the university, but it's also a great thing for the city itself. Being from Lowell, uh, it was something that uh, myself and, and, and Lowellians as a whole were very, very happy here. So, you know, right now is the time. Uh, you know, and the alumni base, I think, is, is a lot broader in this area than people realize. Uh, and it's critical for them to come around and see what good things are going on. I mean, I you can follow Riverhawks basketball when they play at Michigan Friday, November 8th at 7 p.m. at GoRiverHawks.com or on the ESPN Riverhawk Radio Network, ESPN 900, ESPN 1250, WSMN 1590, and 980 WCAP.